or use a $2 tax wedge to analyze what's going to happen to this market if there is a $2 excise tax. So you can either shift your supply curve up by $2 or shift the demand curve down by $2. Either way, just look for the distance where it's $2. So $7 down to $5. This is our tax wedge right here. Uh, this will be the price that the buyers pay. So the buyers are going to pay a higher price, $7 price that the sellers get to keep would be $5. The distance between the two is the same as the wedge. The deadweight loss is going to be the area between the old equilibrium and our tax wedge. So it's going to be $2 on, it looks like about a unit and a half. So it'd be uh, one and a half would be the calculation of the deadweight loss. And then the revenue on the tax, just find where the tax wedge and gives you a quantity. So it'd be four uh, four times $2, uh, so it would be $8 would be the tax revenue, and that is the area of this orange box that I have right here.